Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, this is one of my incubators. I don't know if you can see what that's set at. They set at 38.9 Celsius. That should be, that's above what it should be. Should be set at 38 flat. And you want to know why it's set at that. I'll show you in a little bit. And I've got roughly, I think there's 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, thirty-six. There's forty eggs in this one. And uh, what I'm getting at, I'll show you. First thing I want to do is visit my crew here. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> but anyway, I have a new incubator. Check this out. It's supposed to be capable of holding 130 eggs. And the temperature on this one I've got set at 38.5. And I've only got two eggs in it right now. There'll be more at the end of the day. And this is why the temperature is set so high on it. You see it's at a flat 38 degrees at 59% humidity. We just set this up earlier so the humidity will increase <coughs> by the end of the day because we just put the water on it and it's just now been turned on and I'm trying to get the temperature stabilized which it looks like it has. It's staying at 37.9 to 38 and uh, this is the machine if I don't fall down. <laughs> Now, all this is hooked into my solar system, so I should not have any power failure, which is very important. Now, why I'm giving you this overview on the temperature, as you well aware of, I've had eggs to hatch, and I'm only getting about a 50% hatch rate, and I can't figure out why. The reason why I'm feel confident is because of the temperature was too low from this one here which you can't see on video uh, to what the actual temperature was on the inside now why there is a difference in temperature it's not because it's defective it's where the temperature probe is I don't know if you can see it or not but the probe I've got on the temperature in the white, white temperature probe is on the bottom. The one for the machine is up at the top. Well the eggs are not at the top. So they wasn't getting the proper temperature. Everything else was correct except for the temperature. Now we'll know here in about three weeks if I'm correct or not. Am I correct? Who knows? But that's my theory, and we're going to find out. Now, we're going to talk about what's going on. I got some sad news. You've seen why I posted where we did a vaccine for 24 chicks. Uh, we're down to 14 now. We've already lost 10 of them. Undoubtedly, that vaccine, uh, Grace could not get what she had before, so she had to take the generic with no label and stuff like that, and end up as ineffective. We are losing chicks. We separated them uh, totally from the chicken coop all together, and having to sterilize the pullet pin, and I don't know how many are going to end up surviving. Um, <laughs> so be careful out there if you're interested in doing what I'm doing as a project you know, maybe a smaller scale even a larger scale uh, this would be good information to give you I've got two more of those temperature probes on order I should have them within the next four to five days hopefully and I will monitor both incubators at all times 
we are currently into rainy season as you see we've got heavy cloud cover in the distance but we're okay uh, we're not nothing extreme as you can see the creek is still just at its normal level temperatures have been hovering a little high for this time of year and I don't know if you can see them or not probably can't I got some jalapeno peppers <laughs> I'm looking forward to them no you can't see them from up here but they're there and uh, we got some banana trees finally starting to grow again the last heavy storm that went through here heavy winds took most of them out but anyway that's what's going on folks I appreciate everybody take time take care and we'll see you on the next one